Once upon a time, on the magical planet of Ava, a brave explorer crash-landed amidst lush landscapes and mysterious creatures. This is the enchanting world of the Creatures of Ava, a creature collector action-adventure game where players embark on a heroic mission to save the planet's wildlife from a dreadful infection known as the Withering. There are three difficult modes. You can have Story, which basically has very reduced combat difficulty and you can enjoy the story of the Creatures of Ava. Or you have Normal, which is basically the standard difficulty set by the game developers. And then you have Hard, which is increased combat difficulty where creatures deal more damage. I will be showing you this review on Normal. The story begins with you, the valiant hero, exploring diverse biomes from vibrant grasslands to eerie swamps and dense jungles. Your quest is to rescue the ailing animals, whose once brilliant colours have turned to a sickly grey by using tiny pods to send them to a safe arc in space. Along the way, you'll encounter the local inhabitants who, though wary of humans, might just become our friends. Developed by Inver Studios and published by 11-Bit Studios, The Creatures of Ava is set to release on August the 7th. Thanks to Terminals IO, we have a sneak peek into this delightful adventure. The Planet of Ava is a sight to behold, with simple yet captivating graphics reminiscent of Palworld and Temtem. Each biome is filled with unique creatures and lush foliage, although beware of the giant infected flowers scattered across the land. As you transverse the expansive world, you'll uncover puzzles and lore. Meditate in some serene spots, snap photos of the breathtaking scenery, and visit shrines to earn research points. These points help you level up your character and staff, vital tools in your quest to cleanse the infection. The withering is easy to spot, as it turns the vibrant wildlife into dull and hostile creatures. Combat in Ava is straightforward, but I'll bite a little bit clunky at times. While the staff is your primary weapon to combat the infection, aiming and maintaining distance can be tricky. Switching from a mouse and keyboard to a controller might make your battles a little bit smoother. The game leans more towards range combat and improvements are hoped for final release of the game. Crafting is a key part of your journey. Harvesting plants scattered across Ava yields varying essence to brew, health and stamina potions. Campsites dot the map offering crafting stations and storage linked to all other campfires, making inventory management a breeze. The Avapedia is your guide, storing all information about the creatures you save. Completing research tasks listed in the Avapedia enhances your knowledge and skills. And there's more to taming than just catching wildlife. You play enchanting music in a small puzzle game to lead them or control them to overcome obstacles like getting through barricades or dropping down bridges. The music and sound effects blend beautifully with the game's ambience, though dialogue is mostly impressed through charming sound effects and cutscenes. The locals' amusing grunts and murmurs hint at their scepticism towards humans, adding a touch of humour to your interactions. The main quest drives the story, but side quests and rescue missions in each biome ensure there's always something to do. Once you come to understand the true meaning of the infection, you will be challenged to step out of the human-centric point of view and learn about the real toll it takes to preserve the primal beauty at the very roots of Ava. Teleporters and zip lines help you navigate the vast map, and running doesn't consume stamina, making exploration more enjoyable. As a pre-release version, the game has a few glitches, like animals clipping through rocks and persistent icons on the map, but none of these bugs or glitches are game-breaking. However, the simple UI and casual pacing allow for relaxed exploration. The Creatures of Ava stands out with its unique blend of creature-catching gameplay, captivating graphics and an engaging story. Whilst it's hard to predict if it will outshine giants like Pokemon and Temtem, it's certainly a charming and worthwhile adventure for fans of the genre. So, if you dream of exploring alien worlds, saving enchanting creatures and embarking on a whimsical adventure, the Creatures of Ava might just be the perfect game for you. Happy exploring, brave hero. Another huge thank you to Terminal IO for giving me the key to review this game for you. Please ensure to hit the little like button and subscribe to get more exciting cozy reviews. I also want to know your thoughts down below. Do you think you are going to play Creatures of Ava when it's released on the 7th? I would love to hear your thoughts on the game. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.